pay attention, you know. This could, this could be happening. You know, this could, could anybody, happen to anybody, anybody, you know, anybody's a, child. Tracy Williams' father and mother look on at a memorial for their daughter and Jeremiah Ruffin. The two teens were a couple and on April 7th were killed in the collision with an RPD officer responding to a burglary call. You know, to walk in these shoes is... It's rough, man. Officer Richard Johnson now facing four charges from the crash, including felony and voluntary manslaughter and the deaths of Ruffin and Williams. They had to be going pretty fast. They had to be going, yes, they had to be going pretty fast um, for them to be ejected out the car. Because it was part of an ongoing investigation, CBS 6 has not been able to independently view the security camera footage from the wreck. But there's multiple cameras around here at businesses and homes. Tracy Williams' father says he did get to see it, and here's what he saw. The RPD vehicle driven by Johnson was coming this direction on Bells Road at a high rate of speed. The vehicle driven by Ruffin was crossing over Bells on Castlewood Road heading in this direction. Williams' father says from the video that he saw, it was clear. The RPD officer was approaching the red light and did not yield in his view. The collision happening right at this intersection, and they say it was significant. And was, like I said, it was very fast and hard. More than a decade ago, a similar fatal collision involving a Fairfax County police officer led to a change in state law. Now emergency vehicles responding to calls through traffic lights must engage their lights and sirens or slow the vehicle down to a reasonable speed or otherwise yield the right of way to other drivers. Beyond following the state law, Generally, each police department sets their own scene response protocols. This according to the Virginia Association of Chiefs of Police. Officials there say there really isn't a one-size-fits-all policy since there's a major difference between urban, rural, and interstate settings when determining a safe way to respond to crime scenes when timing matters. RPD says Johnson is on unpaid leave until after the criminal process plays out. Yeah, the involuntary manslaughter is a serious charge. Should the case go to trial, legal analyst Todd Stone says any video evidence will play a central role. The prosecutor is going to have to establish that the, these officers, you know, had uh, some negligence and caused the accident, thereby you know, putting someone's life in danger. Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.